So you've just bought Fallout 4 and the game is stuttering and you want to know how you can make it run as smooth as possible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've come to the right video. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a guide on how to make Skyrim smooth. Now, when I first got this game yesterday, I noticed that it was running pretty poorly. And this was like just big stuttering going on. Also, some micro stuttering going on while I was running around in the open world map. Now, I did man manage to find a few culprit settings. The first being shadow qualities. And I want you guys to turn this down to medium and or low, depending on the quality of your computer. Now, my computer is a high-end rig. It's a 5820K and also 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a 980 Ti. And I also tested this upstairs on my 6600K Skylake PC as well. So having shadows on medium did help to give that perfectly smooth experience. Now, the second thing I want you guys to do is try turning off hyper-threading. Now, this was interesting because when I tested my rig downstairs, even dropping down the graphics settings, I was noticing that it was still stuttering. And I was like, what, could, what on God's earth could be causing this still? So I managed to turn off hyper-threading and lo and behold, the stuttering went away pretty much completely. Then there was another fix, which is kind of not as important as the previous two but I will still mention it. And that is to actually overclock your monitor to 64 hertz if your monitor is overclockable and then set the frame rate in game to 64 hertz. Now you can do this by installing a program called MSI Afterburner, but if you do so, make sure you turn uh, the River Tuna Statistics server program on as well. And that has the frame rate limiting option in there. Now the next setting we're going to talk about is the included V-Sync setting, which is important if you are overclocking your monitor or if you wish to reduce your input lag. I actually probably should have mentioned this before installing MSI Afterburner. Now if you've got the NVIDIA control panel, you can go in there and you can also just click on the game in the program settings and then click on vertical sync and manually set that to off. Since this game does manually have vertical sync on by default, you will wish to turn this off. Now another thing is if you wish to use G-Sync or FreeSync, then you'll want to set this setting to actually use the 3D application setting whilst having your monitor's technology on. And I will say on that note that G-Sync, which is included on my 27-inch 4K Acer monitor, it works really well. Like this is one of the few games where G-Sync does benefit a game immensely because if you have G-Sync off you will get noticeable screen tearing but if you have on V-Sync you will get a huge amount of input lag with this game in particular. So all in all those were the three main things that I found affected and helped fix the stuttering on this game. Mainly the graphic settings and the turning off the hyper threading were the biggest improvements in my opinion. However on that note I'll also pull up my graphics settings for you guys at 4K uh, which is currently on a 980 Ti overclocked to close to around 1400 megahertz. And this is on a 5820K with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. And now I'll also pull up my 1440p recommended settings. This is on a GDX 970, which is overclocked as well to around about 1500 megahertz. And also I'm on 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory here as well. So I'll put the specs exactly of what the, the rigs I'm using in the description below for you guys to get an idea. But keep in mind though, when I took the FPS caps off, these were running around about 110, 120 frames. I mean, I was getting well above 60 in some areas. Though keep in mind though, I want to keep my gameplay experience as smooth as possible. So in some areas, it may dip down to 60. And that's the thing with this game. I don't know what it is about this game, but when it micro stutters and when you get those frame drops, it just brings in stuttering that is terribly noticeable, <laughs> if that's the way to describe it. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, about this game then please drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can in the meantime don't forget to hit that sub button and i'll catch you guys in another tech review news or some gaming news very soon peace out for now bye